Well, hi folks, it's Stratman at pipware.com here. Uh, just continuing on with my teaching of the trading strategy I, I use. Uh, today we're going to try and package a little bit more together and explain how to use fractals better. Now, I have been teaching to trade with the trend. That is, that is fundamental to the trading strategy. The way we've been trying to do that is by using moving averages. Moving averages are okay, but moving averages are lagging indicators because they're based on previous price action, although they can realize good profits. So if we look at this trend going down here, uh, by the way, at the moment this chart is uh, M15 and I'm looking at uh, 60 SMAs. So uh, this is the H1 60 SMA, which is a 240 on the M15, and this is the 60 SMA from the M5, which becomes a 20 SMA on the M15. So trading away from our moving averages, trading opportunity, great, we got it, or well, we may may have got it. This one here, we could have got it. This one here, got this one here. You know, all all good trading opportunities away from the trend. Uh, sorry, with the trend away from our moving averages. But what happens at this point? And this will happen no matter what size moving averages you use. This point here is a bit of a problem for us because price is now entered inside in between our two moving averages and we're only interested in short trades until we get a crossover. So once price crosses over and pulls back, then we can start trading long and there we go, we're, we're trading along. But we've missed this whole area here of trading opportunities. Now this is this is nearly, this, this is about half a day. So we don't want to miss out on those points. Now, moving averages, I still use them. They give, they give a fairly good idea, just a nice line there to see. Whereas fractals are a little bit different. Fractals are based around the whole premise that that uh, the trend is made from higher highs and higher lows. So if I just plonk the fractals on here, uh, that's on the indicators, Bill Williams, fractals. All right. Now if, I'll zoom in a little bit here, actually, just to, just so we can see what's happening here. Now the whole idea of using fractals is to try and capture the swing highs and swing lows. So here's a swing low, there's a swing high. One would consider, well, is that really a swing high there? But unfortunately, the definition of a fractal is, is uh, two bars either side um, are below in this case. So this turns into a fractal. So in essence, this is now a lower high, but we still made a higher low. So what what we uh, should be doing is is looking at this and saying, okay, we're after on basically the the move here is higher highs and higher lows. As soon as that's broken, which it hasn't broken all the way up here until this point here. So this is this is the current um, the previous low, and that low got broken. So now we're we're considering that we've got a lower high and a lower low. Our moving average is still actually upwards. So in this instance on the M15, what I'm seeing is that this is now considered that we're entering a downtrend phase. So the fractals are very important in that way. Now what I do is um, I've got added into the dashboard arrows that will be drawn when we're consistently making higher highs and higher lows and when we're making lower lows and lower highs. So just put that on. And this is the setting. So we'll just set that to true. And now we've got some arrows appearing. Now, the one I'm interested at this stage is I'm interested in the fact that this here is showing that that previous high fractal got broken. Now, so we're, we've got a green arrow all the way up here, up here, up here, until we make um, a lower low. Okay, so zoom back out just a little bit so you can see the whole move there. So this move started here, continued up, up to here. Now the moving average is still going upwards at this point, but the fractal is telling us that this is now considered a downtrend. So this is why 
fractals are so important to me is because they they really they, there's no setting up of numbers like um, determining whether you've got an EMA an SMA or whatever you don't need to do anything fractals are just purely price action and in fact if you use moving averages moving averages are lagging so as you can see they don't change until after price actually has done its move whereas fractals will actually based straight on the candles will tell you when when the trend is changing direction pretty quickly so this whole move from here up to here you could have realized uh, 62 pips up to there or if you took it to the high you could have got 70 pips now what I'm going to do now is show you typically what I go through with these fractals now I cannot avoid at this stage using the dashboard the dashboard is fundamental to what I do. Um, the these arrows here determine uh, are telling me what the fractals are saying on every time frame. So I'm seeing at the moment on the H1 time frame we're making higher highs and higher lows. Well, in fact, we're making higher highs. I don't know whether we're making higher lows. That's just a technical point. But um, same as on M M30, M15, as I just showed you, we've just broken a a low fractal so we're making lower lows this one here we're making higher highs and this one here we're making lower lows so for me I want to see all these in agreement I want to see that we're making consistently higher highs on every time frame uh, of interest and I want to see also that we're making lower lows on every time frame of interest if I want to go short so getting back to our scenario here we could have um, this area here over this side we've got a lot of fractals breaking here going either way so so we're getting mixed kind of up and down backwards and forwards very very choppy price action but overall it's a it's a larger trend so this is where we've got to get out to the higher time frame now if we look at our h1 time frame because this is where it kind of all starts for me, I'm I'm always monitoring my H1 time frame and working off my M15, then going down to my M5 and M1. So you can see here that this is where on H1 the trend changed to a downtrend, as far as the fractal um, signals are concerned. In fact, it was a downtrend all the way from this one and uh, it showed it before the moving average changed over and then it got a quick spike up so this one showed it as being a, a uptrend just for one bar but um, didn't really go anywhere and in fact the moving average being so steep would have said to us well that's probably just uh, just one that didn't quite fit the, the pattern and here we go now we're down again on these ones all the way to here and then it changes over to an uptrend all the way up to here and it's still considered an uptrend there, it hasn't turned into a, a downtrend yet, although on the M15 it's saying a downtrend. So this is the point that we have to get to is to decide which time frame are we trading. For me I like trading off the M15, so I'm not going long at this stage because M15 is showing that we're, we're um, in a downtrend. But I'm looking down here and I'm seeing that the, the main action is uptrend. So I'm, I'm looking for long opportunities uh, still and um, then just considering what my moving averages are doing around this point. So basically what I, what I would suggest is that if you're a, um, a swing trader, you take trades over a number of days or whatever, you're probably going to be looking at your weekly, monthly and daily and probably not looking at these lower time frames here. For me, I'm going to be looking at the H1 through to M1. And what I'm looking for is when all of these line up one way or the other. And um, I've now set myself up an alert here so that if all these go green, the fractals up to H1, I'll get an alert. And if they go red, all of them, I'll get an alert. And I know that I've got a possible trading opportunity in that direction. I'll discuss how to trade once you get that alert um, very shortly and in fact there, there was some very good trading yesterday based on this this whole thing so uh, stay tuned for the next video